Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. Put your tray tables and your seats back in the upright position. Welcome back to Minecraft. We're here on a new server we've been playing on for about a month. And uh, we're at the ender and they're grinding out some gear. Reason being, I uh, I did a big dum-dum. I uh, had two elytra on me that were both uh, pretty much dead. And uh, I came through the portal at the end. Had my rockets in my hand, jumped off the end island, and uh, immediately realized my mistake. I hit escape, hit disconnect, and it didn't matter. It was all too late. So once I accepted my fate, I logged back in, and uh, of course I died, lost everything that was in my inventory, and uh, we're back here grinding it out. I'm almost done with that. Um, as you can see, got a pretty good helmet, my pants are all right, and uh, decent boots. So the boots are truly the most important thing we have here because we're going to go in busting in a little bit, and uh, I'm going to need them. I did bar an elytra from a fellow member of this community, and uh, we're going to use that to fly out. Uh, maybe I'll do a little montage and get that recorded up for you guys. So it's been a while since I played Minecraft and I got uh, a craving to play it again. So I got up with a group of people on my Discord that I've enjoyed playing with in the past and invited them to hang out on the realms. However, um, just last night, uh, me and Ace actually finished migrating the realms over to a proper server. So Ace threw down, got a uh, quad core server, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and set it up. It's running OS Ubuntu, uh, which of course gave us some serious struggles, but we eventually got it up. Persistence and a lot of Googling. So it's happy now. If you experiencing any hitching in this video, I apologize. Uh, we're still working out some things, and of course, we're on a, uh, a network that is a uh, is not a business network. It is a home network, so there may be some lag in here and there, um, but so far so good. Uh, we stress tested it pretty good. Lots of TNT spawned in some withers. Uh, had. Some sand dropping machines, um, TNT duping, um, and stress tested it with that, and it did pretty good. So, did better than uh, than any other pay for server that we had been on. So, I'm happy with it, um, and we'll see how it goes. Since I've played in this world for a little bit, you'll see. Uh, I'll give you a bit of a tour after we get back from the end busting and. Uh, you can see what all we've done. There's some beautiful things on here. Have a friend of mine by the name of Golden Story who does some excellent building. Um, we got KGB on here who does um, a lot of technical builds, big things, automation, efficiency. That's what he focuses on. And uh, then we have some other members of the community like uh, uh, Killer Lee who's on here now. Um, we have uh, Captain Bakaniko who plays on here. We have um, Defective, who plays on here from time to time, um, and I believe that there are a few others. So let me go ahead and wrap up what I'm doing here. I got some mending books. Um, Ace, early on, got a villager that had uh, books for one emerald. Of course, that glitch is still going on, and uh, 1.14 hasn't been patched out yet, even though it is in the snapshots from what I hear. And uh, we have many books for days, which is a fantastic early game. At this point, the MVP uh, villager would be a trade for uh, Unbreaking 3. If we could get that, we would be set pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and get these Menden books on my gear. Um, then we're going to go out and get ourselves an Elytra. Um, I might take the time to try to get one Unbreaking 3 book, because as soon as we get... Um, are on Elytra. I want to go ahead and have a book and an anvil, mending and unbreaking three on that Elytra so we can put defectives back in our inner chest and not lose it. Um, as you know, the slightest misstep can lead you into the void. So let me go ahead and get started here and uh, I'll talk to you guys in a bit.
darkness, my old friend. Well, that went pretty well. We got what we went for. We didn't lose uh, Defectus Elytra, so I'd say uh, success. What I'm really excited about now is heading into uh, the real world and showing you what we got. It's a beautiful spot, and we put a lot of work into it. So, a little bedroom right here. Uh, this is kind of in the depths of my starter area. What we did was build a simple little retention wall and build some storage into it and some basic little uh, smelter. A little misplaced block there. Um, little tiny smelter. We got a uh, nether portal in here. Um, and then uh, the surrounding area just keeps growing. Eventually want to get a nice little town going on. I like these aesthetic builds over farms. Kind of what I've been focusing on is pushing myself to be able to create things that I'm not good at. So I got my little rustic style that y'all have seen in my other videos, but I want to expand on that. Um, I want to take inspiration from people. I've been watching people like Corrales and B00, people like that, that have a aesthetic skill set and can also play the game technically. Um, so we have... Uh, little 
buildings that fit the surrounding area and fit the theme, but inside it's uh, it's more than meets the eye. We got a little cow farm over here. This is where the butcher does his dirty work. A little, uh, ew, looks like he needs to clean up the table. Um, cow head in the compost. A little grotesque, but hey. Um, in here we have our two farms. It's a cluster of cows using entity cramming. This side is always loud for some reason. If we let those drop, listen to this side. Well, not quite as loud. And I think that's the babies that make that, uh, that extra splash of noise. But um, in the cabinet here, you keep your wheat. And then, uh, of course, you breed these guys up and entity cramming. Ooh. I still haven't gotten used to those uh, ambient sounds, but uh, anyways, once the entity cramming happens, then of course all the drops go in here, and then you can take it out and smelt it up, but got a nice little kitchen area going on. I tried to make it so that each one of the houses has at least some type of little bedroom in it. Um, that way, if you're over here, it's dark and you don't want to sit through the... Um, the night or fight your way through the night then you got a little uh, little spot to set your spawn and take a rest uh, we do have different um, data packs on here just still vanilla ish but more um, um, quality of life improvements so we have uh, AFK display that's when somebody's AFK they'll go uh, their name will go gray um, we have anti-enderman grief, keeps them from picking up blocks in the world and placing them down over time. That makes your world look ugly. Um, we have customizable armor stands, as you've seen already over here with the uh, items laying down and um, the little miniature armor stand with the cow head on here. Um, that one's nice for all those little details that kind of give it this lived-in feel. We have double shulker shells. It's a little OP, but kind of the thought behind it was always, well, you always have, uh, you know, one shulker shell left over because you get odd number drops and, uh, that's kind of useless. So we went with double shulker shells. And to be honest, it makes them, uh, you know, we have plenty. We have a lot and we haven't done that much in busting. Uh, as you've seen earlier, I was after elytra and that was it. But if you look at what we've gone through before, we have a stack in 15, and all this is done. So to be honest, I think that one's a little cheaty, and maybe it should go. Um, I know some of the other members of the community have uh, mentioned that they agree with that one. We have more mob heads. That gives us beautiful little blocks like this guy right here. Um, we have multiplayer sleep. Um, that's one player can sleep. Nobody else has to. Um, it progresses, gets rid of the night. It's the only way to live. Um, we have silence mobs. You can name uh, a name tag using an anvil, and um, it'll silence that mob. Uh, we have villager death messages. That's super useful when you're dealing with these guys, and you want to know when things get out of hand. Um, and that's it. Um, not much more needed than that. Of course, those came off of um, a Zoomavoid's website, zoomavoid.com, which um, actually has one of the best resource packs, Vanilla Tweaks. Um, it allows you to have things like uh, your shield in your offhand, and it lowers it down so you guys don't have to see that thing taking up you know, um, an eighth of the screen. Now it's down at the bottom, um, and... It has a bunch of other quality of life improvements in it as well, like quieter gas, quieter nether portals, um, quieter dispensers, pistons. Um, then there's some 3D items, which you can really see when you get near a um, um, some of these blocks, like ladders and trap doors and things like that. Um, and I'm also running uh, Faithful. I'm kind of up in the air about Faithful because I really like the new textures since Mo Yang redid them. But I don't know. 
Um, it's nice when you're playing with shaders on to kind of have that uh, the, the extra detail and the crispiness of your items. It makes it look a little bit better. But to, con to continue this tour, um, we had a little blacksmith area here, but we ended up building a super smelter over here. Um, KGB built the smelter, and uh, I decorated it, which uh, made me pick up all these items here and just kind of build a nicer little spot over that. But here's another fine example of the customized armor stand. And, uh, oh, can't forget a little dog over there. Of course, we need to get a name tag and put a name on this guy. Um, if you guys any have a good idea for a name for this little guy, let me know. I'll get a name tag and, uh, and look, name him. This is one of the first farms we did. Um, all the rage is zero tick farms. And uh, we have two of them down here in the basement. Uh, on one side, you have uh, sugarcane. And on the other side, bamboo. And we have it so that once these chests are full up, it shuts off the farms downstairs. This little area is kind of incomplete up here. Got a little bed up here, like I mentioned before. And uh, then we have, of course downstairs and this is where the true magic happens Got the two farms over here um, sugar cane on this side and bamboo on that side and of course just going into this simple clock to shoot it up the water elevator and put it into storage um, we have our shutoff system for when it's full we don't want to keep it running and pile up a bunch of entities up there that's bad for the server so the sticky piston pulls this block out of this shuts the clock off which shuts off the farm and as you can see they're both off right now um yeah it's nice uh we started a slime farm over here but i would like to and he still got us <laughs> um i would like to finish digging this out and we did whoa i did not know mobs could climb Wow. All right. You learn something new in this game. No matter how long you've been playing it, there's always something new to learn. And uh, mobs aren't supposed to be able to pathfind um, across these things, but it looks like they can uh, climb them. So that's new. And, of course, I'm still getting used to this stuff because sometimes you can um, place it, but it, and it goes up, and sometimes it goes sideways. So if you hit it from the bottom, it goes straight up. Um, I guess the block adjacent is what you would hit for it to uh, to continue to stack up. Or Either way, lots to learn with the new stuff, which is uh, why we're here and playing it. Looking forward to 1.15. Some nice new mechanics coming. Um, I like the idea that the bee isn't a useless mob. It's going to... Uh, they're going to pollinate the farms and make them more efficient. So that's kind of cool. And, you know, a lot of bug fixes coming. A new render engine, which is super nice. It's a little bugged out, but hopefully they'll work all that out before they uh, before they release it. And then after that, we get 1.16. So we got a lot to get used to before we even get there. Um, this beautiful little house right here was made by none other than Golden Story. It's a nice little aesthetic build. And of course, his interiors are always looking fantastic. Nice little kitchen area right here. How cool is that? A little storage up underneath there. And uh, some lectern, some simple decorations up top. Pretty cool. Um, he built this right next to... Um, our nano farm so we built il mango's uh, latest nano farm inside this guy just kind of made a little uh, farmhouse and some of these farms it's a little tough to decorate them on the inside but uh i think we did an all right job you got a little bedroom area a little kitchen area um, which leads out to a back door um, this guy's maybe a pig farmer. He's got carrot crops going on, but we still have a little bit of 
a little bit of decoration to do in places like this just to kind of fill it in. But that'll come later. We did some nice little gardens in here. I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Um, maybe need to come through here and punch out a few of these flowers. Um, it gets a little little much with uh, with all the flowers. Um, this is a cool little idea I got from Defective. Um, maybe we'll get over to her little island and I can show you what she did. But uh, it's kind of cool. It's a little shed. It gives you a little crafting area. You got the bench, uh, some storage. Uh, of course, we got tons of these things laying around. Every time I see a wandering trader, it's uh, free leads and, uh, and some leather. And, uh, of course, a bed to sleep through the night over here as well. So it's nice. It gives a, a nice feel to the area. Pretty cool little project. I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad I saw that. So we have our uh, Battle Hammer Forge, a little R.A. Salvatore reference. Um, is the forge under here a little coal where they've been scooping it up on here and maybe that's his hammer we'll just pretend that's a hammer uh looks like he's got a sword in here quenching you know harden up the steel and some stuff he's already made and this little setup was actually originally over there but we uh of course pulled it down and put it over here when we built this guy still got some decoration to do over here um especially on the interior there's also some, I need to double check the lighting. Occasionally you can find a, uh, a mob. My God, man. Cover up your holes. Nobody to blame but myself on that. But we have, uh, we have had mobs spawn in here before, so I really need to finish decorating this, um, and get it all cleaned up, but very efficient. You can throw some items in here in the top, and of course they come out here in the bottom smelts super fast so that's uh essential for big builds which is uh what we're always working toward of course put some stables over here i really love that you can uh water log stairs uh, makes for a really nice uh, water and trough for the animals how cool is that that and of course that's an infinite water source in there if you take out that middle water source with your bucket it'll fill right back in which we still haven't uh finished getting all our gear back because uh, a bucket's essential it's not my inventory and of course i lost that in the void before i started recording um over here we're going to have i guess an inn uh, for an aesthetic build and then underneath it I want to have a pretty uh, solid villager trade center um, we have our villager breeder right here um, and it's shut off right now because uh, it just gets to be a little too much and those guys if you head down in this little hole we have a ton of villagers over there um, K and Ace have been sorting through them, but uh, we need to get them stored in a uh, in a safe location. So can... My God, man, I forgot about phantoms. I guess it's time to sleep. And that makes sense because we've been out in the inn for a long time and we haven't slept. So we're going to go ahead, get those guys to go away. I don't want to be fighting those on camera. That would be embarrassing. So, yeah, this is kind of what we have uh, so far in this little local area. We have some really friendly neighbors. Um, and as soon as these guys go away, I will show you what's going on over there. So this is golden story all right you done <laughs> i think he's done this is golden story and i thoroughly enjoy playing with him because i mean just look at this this is magnificent i'm not going to go through and show you his base and show you everything uh we'll save that probably for uh, a different episode but this is his area and boy is it magnificent we'll uh we'll see if our elytra will open up and uh and give you kind of an overhead view of this place let's get rid of this shield 
So one project that he did that looks absolutely stunning are these wheat fields. Um, me and uh, Defective and uh, Bronze Story helped a little bit, but this is mainly golden. And how wonderful does that look? Let's get up here and turn around. It's a little foggy right now, so it's a little hard to see. But look at that. It was a heck of a grind, but uh, well worth it. And then we'll just do a little walkthrough of his area and just look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Custom trees everywhere, little lamp posts, nice little windmill. Looks very interesting in there. Another little place. So this popped up. The first time I seen that was uh, just when I logged on this morning. It's looking absolutely fantastic over there. Oh, wow. And some stables to go with it. Very nice. And look at that curved roof. As you can see on my other buildings, I've been a fan of curved roofs on, uh, on this playthrough. So it's cool to see him use that. Nice little area coming down here. Beautiful bridge. Let's just top, stop and, uh, and, and take that in there for a minute. That looks good. Very simple, but beautiful lines. Nice curve. Looks great. Another entrance into his place. Looks fantastic. Little bell. I don't think anybody's home on the bell. Ring the bell on nobody's home. You know what I mean. And this over here is defective spot and... 100% shout out to her because this is that design that I was talking about. And just look at that. Simple little shed with all the essentials for crafting and some nice little storage up here. How cool is that? So we definitely can learn from that, take inspiration from others, and uh, build beautiful things as well. But look at this. Nice little dock out back. A little potted plant there. It looks good. So while we're here, we're also going to drop off the elytra that she was so kind to loan us. Um, and maybe we can add something else just to show our appreciation. Look at that fireplace. That looks cozy. Anyways, nothing says thank you like a free mending book and a diamond block and a free shulker box. So thank you, Defective. Enjoy. So anyways, leaving out of here, um, what I'd like to do is uh, go ahead and get some of this, uh, this villager trading hall um, built up. I need to go to the nether and harvest up some quartz because uh, we're going to make it nice white uh, kind of clinical look if you will for the villagers down below and um, I'll bring you guys in and show you what that looks like look at that guy cheeky little fella isn't he Maybe we should put some slabs up there anyways getting sidetracked here uh, we got a lot of work done but we got a ways to go. Um, first thing we gotta do is make some hoppers. I do have a little bit of iron here. And I know we have, uh, right off this way is spawn, and we do have a iron farm built by KGB over there running. So I probably should go check it out and see how it's doing. He said we could pinch from it when we need to. So that's nice. Um, we did pick up a beacon as well, um, which is sitting over here in this chest, um, and a stack of blocks. But with that farm uh, being brand new, we should go check it. And coming off realms, one of the downsides of realms is the world sleeps when nobody's on, and if you AFK more than 15 minutes, then you're kicked. Uh, like Nico, for example, up there, he's... Uh, He's been on for quite some time and has been kicked because we're on a server, obviously. So 
it's going to be nice to be able to have spawn chunks loaded and be able to um, AFK without getting kicked. The only downside to that is I feel like I'm going to end up building a fishing farm, which is always good later game, but I don't know. It just takes away the, the challenge of, uh, of getting your stuff. Going. Either way, um, this is kind of where we're at right now. It's not the world's greatest design, but I like it. Um, what we have is a hopper underneath these guys. So if you get hero of the village, um, and you run through here, they're going to throw their things away or throw items at you. Um, after you complete a raid, uh, those items will then go into this chest. Um, I believe villagers still drop whatever you're trading with them. If you exit the UI without removing the items from um, the little slots that you trade with. And once again, that'll pick it up. So we're going to put workstation in there. We're going to put villager in there. And then we're going to put some glass on the front of it like this. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, up here we're going to have some signs, of course. want to label what the guy's trade is. And uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. So just place some blocks. Once we get them all placed, we'll see if we uh, can get, get at least one villager in here before we uh, end this episode. And uh, get some trades going. I haven't done many trades myself. Yep, so it'll be nice to be able to um, get some trades going and see what's up. Um, it'll be nice to play with these guys as well later on and see if we can't get that unbreaking three. Um, if we can get him for one emerald and get him locked in before uh, 1.15 drops, that'd be nice because, of course, that's getting patched out. So let me go ahead and finish this up. I'll see if I can't get a villager in here and... Uh, and follow up with you guys. Absolutely nailed it, and this guy is going to be um, a horrible trade of unbreaking three and one, two, three, and he's what thirty plus emeralds. So yeah, thirty-eight, absolutely ridiculous, and uh, I can't spell so. We'll go ahead and change that off camera, but uh, we just got to get all those guys over here, and uh, it'll be a uh, fun show. Maybe I can get some help from K or Ace or somebody like that. Uh, I know we have a mending villager we'd like to stuff in one of these holes somewhere, So, um, but he'll probably off be off limits. I haven't shown you guys the shopping district yet, um, the gunpowder farm. Uh, there's there's already a lot going on, so maybe next ex episode I'll take you guys around, uh, kind of do a, a little tour and show you that stuff before we get started on uh, on on whatever project we're working then. But um, that's going to be all for me. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like, uh, subscribe, and uh, all the other typical YouTube nonsense. Uh, catch you guys next time. Have a good bye.